The PTC Extreme is our flagship controller for robotic cameras and it's made to give you direct access and extremely fine live control of your devices. So if you're looking for a large, flexible, IP-based PTC controller, this is for you. The PTC Extreme is the only controller in our lineup that ships with a dedicated zoom rocker, an iris dial, and a focus wheel. The controller also comes with a Hall Effect joystick and 36 backlit elastomer buttons and 8 encoders. You can customize these components to do whatever you want, and you can also use one of our default configurations, and those are usually laid out like this. So on the lower row of buttons, you find buttons with OLEDs, and we usually use those for camera selection. On the row just above, you find the similar type of button used for preset selection. You can even put the labels of presets in these displays. If you look at the next row of buttons, these are typically a menu selector. So pressing those will determine what the top row of encoders are doing. And on the left side of the controller, you find three OLED buttons over here. We usually use those for selecting autofocus and exposure mode. With PTC Extreme, you can control more than 30 different PTC camera models that we support. And you can even add control for other equipment like an AGA video router or vMix switcher, a software application like Zoom, or you could even shade a box camera. Here we are connected to a Panasonic UE150 PTC camera. The buttons on the controller for selecting the camera, they are being fed with tally information, letting the operator know if the camera is on program or preview. So you see the red color indicates that the camera is currently on program and the green button indicates that it's on preview. So this is coming all from an ATEM switcher combined into the PTC Extreme. Skaha controllers also come with advanced features like PTC Trace and PTC Cruise Control, and those let you automate and record movements. Feedback is so important in live production, as it keeps the crew on the same page and the production running smoothly. So of course we support Tally from many different devices and applications. For instance, an ATEM switcher, Roland switches, software applications like Livestream Studio, and we even speak TSL if that's your thing. Here we are with BirdDog and vMix, and this will show you how far you can take a Skyhawk controller in terms of integration of different devices. So we have a camera selector on the lower row as usual, but we chose to use some buttons over here for preset recall that will work with the camera. I can also work the camera with the joystick, of course, no problem at all. But on the row usually used for preset recall, I put buttons for vMix, so I can select preview sources, I can make a cut, and I can also hold down the shift key to access overlays and so on. Then on the menu row here, where I normally select what settings I can adjust in the camera, I made an audio option. And with that, I can adjust the audio sources inside of vMix from these encoder knobs. And finally, over here, I decided to use this knob to choose between two sources on a video router. So you can see as I'm turning this knob, I see a change on the screen here. If you want to know more about what devices we can control, head over to our device core page on our website. There's a link down in the description of this video. You can click for exactly that. And if you're looking for a smaller PTC controller, then check out the PTC Pro, the PTC Fly, or the PTC Wiz controllers from Skahoy. If you like this video and you would like to see more, please subscribe. And finally, if you have any questions, please write to us. We would love to hear how we can help you out. Have a nice day.